We're pleased to announce the arrival of the President of the Republic of the Philippines and Commander-in-Chief, Armed Forces of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Please rise for the arrival honors. The audience may be seated. Baba. Long haul. Ah. Mga pinutangal. Ah. Mga pinupuma. Alis. Kadala. Alis. Baba. Ah! 
Pangalang Pangulo, tapos na po ang parangal. Mga kasama, pinapabot ng ating panawing pandangal, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President, Republic of the Philippines, ang kanyang taus-pusong pasasalamat sa parangal na iginawad natin sa kanya ngayong hapon. Mga pinupupa, alis. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines. Please be seated. We have just witnessed the arrival honors for the President of the Republic of the Philippines. Today we are indeed honored to have your presence as we celebrate the 88th year of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, another milestone in the annals of the Armed Forces. Looking back 88 years ago, the Armed Forces of the Philippines was formally organized during the American Commonwealth era through the National Defense Act of 1935. It was during the Philippine Commonwealth period, then President Manuel Luis Quezon the first president of the Commonwealth renamed the Philippine Army to Armed Forces of the Philippines on December 21st of 1935. This is in accordance with the National Defense Act of 1935. Thus, December 21 of every year is designated as the AFP Day. On this occasion, we are privileged that we have in our midst as guests of honor and speaker the President of the Republic of the Philippines and the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, His Excellency, Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Arrayed before you on the ground are the contingents in their gala and battle dress attires. In gala attire, we have the Philippine Army, the Philippine Navy, the Philippine Air Force, the Cadet Corps Armed Forces of the Philippines and the cadets from the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy. In their battle dress attire, we have the AFP Special Operations Forces from the Philippine Army, consists of the 1st Scout Ranger Regiment and the Special Forces Regiment Airborne from the Philippine Navy, the Force Reconnaissance Group, Naval Special Operations Command, and Marine Battalion Landing Team. While for the Philippine Air Force, we have the 7th 10th Special Operations Wing. Ladies and gentlemen, your armed forces, protecting the people and securing the state. To proceed with, the troop commander for this ceremony is Rear Admiral Mac Raul B. Racacho, the commander of the Naval Sea Systems Command of the Philippine Navy.
Please rise for the presentation of command and honors. Please be seated. Baba. The troop commander will now present the troops for inspection. Pala Pangulo, handa na po ang sampanaw upang libutin. His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. will now inspect the troops to be accompanied by the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, General Romeo S. Browner Jr. and by the Troop Commander, Rear Admiral Mac Raul B. Racacho, Philippine Navy. Looking back at history, tripping the line was done prior to invasion of mainland Greece by the Dorians in 1200 BC. This is the act of inspecting the soldiers' condition before and after each battle. Today, this military tradition is being observed to signify the mutual trust between the troops and their commander. The Armed Forces of the Philippines is committed to serving the Republic and the Filipino people defending the sovereignty of the state and the integrity of the national territory. The AFP has expanded its role from traditional war fighting to peace support, peacekeeping operations, and humanitarian assistance and disaster response. In the last decade, the Armed Forces of the Philippines has been on a path of reform and innovation, aiming to become a world-class armed forces by 2028 under the AFP Transformation Roadmap. The military continues to formalize partnerships and engagements to end local communist armed conflict and support national development. With gains on internal security operations, the armed forces is shifting to territorial defense, including maritime, air, and cyberspace defense. It has undergone a significant modernization effort to better protect the nation and respond to evolving challenges. The AFP also participates in international cooperation, peacekeeping missions, and disaster relief efforts around the globe, enhancing its reputation and strengthening bonds with like-minded nations. The Armed Forces of the Philippines is strengthening its reserve forces to reinvigorate the spirit of nationalism and prepare for future uncertainties. The AFP has played a critical role in containing the COVID-19 pandemic and has integrated health security response in its performance scorecard to stay ahead of health emergencies. 
The AFP aims to be a world-class armed forces that the Filipino people can be proud of by sustaining and strengthening the core values of honor, service, and patriotism. It places importance of human capital by boosting the personal morale and welfare and ensuring accountability in performance monitoring and evaluation. Looking to the future, the AFP remains committed to its mission of defending the Philippines and serving the Filipino people. Despite evolving challenges, the AFP's resolve is unwavering. With the dedication of its soldiers and the support of its citizens, the AFP is confident in rising above all challenges in service to the nation. Likewise, the Armed Forces of the Philippines stand behind the administration of His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., advocating for national reconciliation and unity in service to the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines and Commander-in-Chief Armed Forces of the Philippines. Please remain standing for the honors to the nation. Alupunan, mga pinuno at mga kawal, pugay kamay. Na! Bayang magiliw, peras na silanganan, alam ng puso, sa dibit mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, duyan ka ng magiting, sa manlulupi, di ka pasisigil, sa dagat at bundok, sa simoy at sa langit mong boghaw. May dilag ang tula at awit sa paglayang minamahal, ang kislap ng wataw at mo'y tagumpay na nagmimingming. Ang bituin at araw niyang kailan Ang may di magbidilim Lupa ng araw Nang walhati pagsinta Puhay langit sa piling mo Ang inigaya na pag may mga api Ang mamatay ng dahil sa'yo Ano po na ang mga pinuno at mga kawal? Baba kamay Na! Once again, please remain standing. Baba. Ta. Let us implore the presence of the Almighty through the invocation to be officiated by the Most Reverend Bishop, Oscar P. Florencio, Doctor of Divinity, Military Ordinariate of the Philippines. In the settled purpose of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, service to the nation, the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 11, has it to say, Therefore, encourage one another, and build up one another just as you are doing." Unquote. Let us pray. Almighty God, we worship you in gratitude and we call upon your holy name with our vision of a world-class armed forces, source of national pride, to accept our prayers and supplications on this 88th anniversary of the armed forces of the Philippines. Now we implore you, O God, to guide us soldiers in our sacred duty of protecting people, securing the state. Inspire us always to serve with the values of honor, service, and patriotism. And make us all living testament to this year's theme, 
rising over the challenges in service to the nation. Finally, we implore you our distinct benediction on our guest of honor and speaker, His Excellency President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., the Commander-in-Chief, Armed Forces of the Philippines. Guide him to know when to proceed with certainty and safety for the nation's progress to a future of sufficiency. Increase confidence-building experience in our midst and make us feel happier in our company with each other. With your Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. In a few moments, we'll have the high-speed opener pass of the FA-50PH aircraft of the 5th Fighter Wing Air Defense Command Philippine Air Force, call sign Bulldog. The FA-50PH is a supersonic lead-in fighter aircraft. The aircraft has a maximum speed of 1.56 times the speed of sound and has a digital avionics system with a proven air superiority capability for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat. Ladies and gentlemen, the aircraft being piloted by the following, Lieutenant Colonel Michael Rabina, Major John Red Honrales, Captains Jude Salangoy and Bonifacio Banganan, tagged as Aguila ng Pilipinas, the FA-50PH fighter aircraft. At this point, we would like now to invite your attention on the screens as we take a glimpse on the accomplishments of the Armed Forces of the Philippines through an audio-visual presentation. In the heart of this magnificent land, rich with culture and heritage, where the sun kisses the sky, and the seas embrace the shore. There is a force that rises with unwavering determination. The Armed Forces of the Philippines, an institution cultivated to express love for the motherland. They are men and women who rise each day to meet all the challenges ahead. The Navy, and the Air Force. They stand together as one, rising not only with courage, but with honor and duty in their hearts. Yet, the path of service is full of challenges, trials that test the spirit. In adversities, they emerge as beacons of hope, bringing relief and solace to those in need. In the darkest hours of conflict, they emerge as sentinels of peace, defending our nation and preserving every Filipino's way of life. The mission of the Armed Forces of the Philippines goes beyond defending the motherland. It's about service, unity, and compassion. They come as healers, mending the wounds of our nation and selflessly serving the Filipino people. Equipped with their talents, skills, and suitable technology, 
They serve the nation fearlessly, faithfully, and courageously. They soar as the epitome of service to the nation. With hearts ablaze and love for the nation that knows no bounds, they grow each day not as mere soldiers, but as guardians of the nation's dreams and aspirations. Courage and patriotism run deep in their veins, exemplifying service with honor and respect, carrying the weight of history while preserving the nation's sovereignty. This is Philippine Navy Warship Lima Sierra Type 07. You are violating rule number 7. You are advised to keep here immediately and avoid risk of collision. Shoulder to shoulder, with our brave soldiers, we rise as a united Filipino nation. For in service to our beloved nation, we find our greatest purpose. This is your Armed Forces of the Philippines. Protecting the people, securing the state. A big hand for the armed forces of the Philippines. In celebration of the 88th founding anniversary of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, let us now hear the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, General Romeo S. Browner Jr., Philippine Army, for his anniversary message. His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, Secretary Gilberto C. Teodoro Jr., Speaker Ferdinand Martin G. Romualdez, other distinguished guests, members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today, we celebrate the 88th anniversary of the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the enduring spirit, valor, and commitment that have defined our service since its inception. We are your AFP, soldiers of our people, defenders of our sovereignty, and partners for our future. In keeping with our legacy of valor in the face of countless challenges, both internal and external, the Armed Forces of the Philippines has consistently risen to the occasion towards attaining total victory against all threat groups your afp has worked in unity with various partners and stakeholders to achieve significant headway on our campaign our victories are validated by the improved peace and order situation in former influenced areas as manifested in the declaration of the LGUs as insurgency-free, which boosted tourism, investments, and productive interaction across the nation. Simultaneously, we have strengthened our territorial defense operations by heightening our presence in our key maritime domain and intensifying our maritime security operations as a response to the increasing challenges to our sovereignty and territorial integrity. Alongside this, and in order to leave no one behind, we have also continuously contributed in humanitarian assistance and disaster response and peacekeeping missions abroad. As we celebrate the achievements of the past, let us turn our gaze towards the future, a future where the AFP goes beyond what is expected in meeting the challenges in these exciting times. We stand at the pivotal juncture where enhancing our military capabilities becomes not just an option, but a strategic imperative. Thus, 
the AFP will continuously strengthen the reserve force hand in hand with our regular force as we sustain our territorial defense operations, adapt innovation by building a strong presence in the cyber realm with the establishment of the AFP Cyber Command. We shall also create the AFP Joint Special Operations Command, reorganize the AFP Presidential Security Command, and re-establish the AFP Counterintelligence Group, as well as pursue the AFP Modernization Program to leverage cutting-edge technologies and strategic partnerships. While bearing in mind our pledge to keep the peace and remain as your partners for progress on the ground. With the statement of our Commander-in-Chief, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. saying, the Philippines will not give up a single square inch of its territory. We will continue to uphold our territorial integrity and sovereignty in accordance with our institution and with international law. Therefore, with our oath of service being a solemn commitment, we guarantee that every soldier, airman, sailor, and marine will put our people first above all else. As such, we implore our countrymen to be mindful in our own communities, relying on our strong communal ties and shared values to preempt activities that may undermine our national security. Together with every Filipino, we will continue the collective security of our nation. In closing, I would like to give my snappiest salute to my fellow men at arms for your dedication and sacrifices in service to our people and nation. I am truly proud and honored to work alongside you. To those who have supported and cooperated with us, I extend our deepest gratitude for your benevolence. To our friends, partners, and allies, collaboration and interaction are invaluable. We look forward to an even stronger and progressive cooperation in the years ahead. To our countrymen, we have done so much to win the peace. Let us continue being united in pursuing national security and prosperity for our beloved country. Through our collective efforts and unity, we can build a nation that thrives. Ang inyo pong sandatahang lakas ng Pilipinas ay lagi ninyong kasama, kasangga, at kaisa sa pagtatanggol ng ating bansa tungo sa kapayapaan at kaunlaran. Sama-sama po tayo at walang iwanan. Maraming salamat po, mal maligayang Pasko at manigong bagong taon. Thank you very much, the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, General Romeo S. Browner, Jr. From here, we'll witness a presentation of awards. AFP personnel who showed commendable performance and other individuals who supported and contributed to the accomplishment of the AFP's mission will be presented with awards. His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. is requested for the awarding to be assisted by the Secretary Gilberto C. Chidoro Jr., Department of National Defense, by the Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines, General Romeo S. Browner, Jr. For the individual awards, also to assist is our J-1. And for the campaign and territorial defense streamers to be assisted by our J-3. The award of Medal for Valor is hereby awarded to late staff Sergeant Cesar Arbarlas, 843851 Philippine Navy Marines. To receive the award is the wife of the late Staff Sergeant Barlas. We have Ms. Certesa M. Barlas.
The Distinguished Conduct Star is hereby presented to First Lieutenant Cielo Rose U. Dolorican, Officer-19376, Philippine Army. The Bronze Cross Medal is hereby presented to Lieutenant Ramsey D.R. Gutierrez, Officer-17913, Philippine Navy. The Bronze Cross Medal is hereby presented to Technical Sergeant Max S. Pascual, 838661, Philippine Air Force. The award of the Kagitingan sa Barangay with the category of Lakan is hereby presented to CAFGU Active Auxiliary Renmark M. Lino. SS dash G one eight dash zero 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 five zero. The plaque of recognition for the AFP enlisted personnel of the year is hereby presented to Master Sergeant Felomino A. Munoz, eight two eight zero nine three, Philippine Army. The plaque of recognition for the AFP Civilian Human Resource of the Year 2023 Supervisor Category is hereby presented to Mr. Joas Carl V. Cruz, Civilian Human Resource from the Philippine Air Force. The plaque of recognition for the AFP Civilian Human Resource of the Year Employee Category is hereby presented to Engineer Ruel P. Lizaso, Civilian Human Resource from the Philippine Air Force. The plaque of recognition for the AFP Reserve Officer Training Corps Male Cadet of the Year 2023 is hereby presented to Cadet Colonel Al Sajay Y. Sabdul, Corps Commander of the Mindanao State University Iligan Institute of Technology. And the plaque of recognition for the AFP Reserved Officer Training Corps Female Cadet of the Year is hereby presented to Midshipwoman Commander Hart B. Babunas First Class, Operations Officer. We shall now have the presentation of the uh, campaign streamers and territorial defense streamers. In the Armed Forces of the Philippines, the campaign streamers are awarded to Joint Task Forces, Brigades and Battalions to recognize their exceptional accomplishments in internal security operations for the dismantling of guerrilla fronts and neutralization of armed components of the communist terrorist groups. For the Eastern Mindanao Command, we have the 1001st Infantry Brigade. Commander is Brigadier General. Felix Ronnie B. Babak, Philippine Army. Joint Task Force Aguila. Commander is Brigadier General Alan D. Hambala, Philippine Army. The 58th Infantry Battalion, 
Commander is Lieutenant Colonel Christian C. Uy, Philippine Army. For 2nd Infantry Brigade, Commander is Brigadier General Adonis Ariel G. Orio, Philippine Army. The 30th Infantry Battalion, Commander is Lieutenant Colonel Gerald H. Halle, Philippine Army. Nine of First Infantry Brigade, Commander is Colonel Arsenio D. Sadural, Philippine Army. For Visayas Command, we have the 62nd Infantry Battalion. Commander is Lieutenant Colonel William C. Pesase Jr., Philippine Army. Three O Third Infantry Brigade. Commander is Brigadier General Orlando D. Edralin, Philippine Army. The Forty Third Infantry Battalion. Commander is Lieutenant Colonel Nasser D.O. Arojo, Philippine Army. Fifty Second Infantry Battalion. Commander is Lieutenant Colonel Rudyard E. Garcia, Philippine Army. Nineteenth Infantry Battalion. Commander is Lieutenant Colonel Marvin A. Maragon, Philippine Army. Seventy fourth Infantry Battalion. Commander is Lieutenant Colonel Jose Roy Manuel N. Dizon, Philippine Army. Twentieth <clears throat> Infantry Battalion. Commander is Lieutenant Colonel Richard P. Villaflor. Philippine Army. Eight O Third Infantry Brigade. Commander is Brigadier General Efren Morados, Philippine Army.
for Western Command. We have the 3rd Marine Brigade. Commander is Brigadier General Antonio G. Manguroban, Jr., Philippine Navy Marines. Joint Task Force Pickup Commander is Brigadier General Antonio G. Manguroban, Jr., Philippine Navy Marines. This time we'll have the Territorial Defense Operations Trimmers being awarded to the Philippine Navy and the Philippine Air Force units for exemplary performance in securing our borders and ensuring our nation's sovereignty and territorial integrity. To start with, we have BRP Antonio Luna, FF-151, with the Commanding Officer, Captain Clyde B. Domingo, Philippine Navy. BRP Conrado Yap, PS39, Commanding Officer is Commander Vinante H. Del Prado, Philippine Navy. The 5th Fighter Wing Air Defense Command with its Wing Commander, Brigadier General, Leo A. Fontanilla, Philippine Air Force. Five ATF Aircraft Control and Warning Wing, Air Defense Command, Philippine Air Force. Well, Commander is Brigadier General Ronnie D. Pettinglai, Philippine Air Force. <clears throat> and the Tactical Operations Wing West, Philippine Air Force, Commander is Brigadier General. Eric Q. Escarcha, Philippine Air Force. Congratulations to all the awardees. Thank you very much, His Excellency, to the Secretary of Defense, and to the Chief of Staff. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for all the awardees. At this juncture, the guest of honor will be introduced by the Secretary Gilberto C. Chodoro, Jr., Department of National Defense. Ladies and gentlemen, the President and the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Uh, before we proceed, uh, will the troop commander give the order of Tikas Pahinga? Tikas! No! Hello, Kunan. Tikas. Pahinga. Thank you to uh, the uh, Secretary of uh, National Defense, Gilbert Tudoro, for his kind introduction. Please, as you were, gentlemen. 
Uh, House Speaker Ferdinand Martin Romualdez, the Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, Most Reverend Oscar Jaime El Florencio, the AFP Chief of Staff, General Romeo Browner, and all the major service commanders, officers, enlisted personnel, and civilian employees of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I extend to you my warmest greetings. I extend it to the officials, troops, and employees of the Armed Forces of the Philippines as we celebrate our 88th anniversary. I join the Filipino people in acknowledging the many contributions and sacrifices of the men and women of the AFP in order to secure our people and our state. As you continue to play a vital role in the government's various initiatives, it is my fervent hope that your institution will remain relentless in countering lawless elements that intend to sow fear and distrust amongst our people. You have become crucial, as in the past years, the Philippines has found itself in the middle of geopolitical developments and tensions that could potentially cause regional insecurity or endanger people's lives and livelihoods. But despite the many attempts at provocation, the Philippines, through the AFP, remains a force and a voice of reason, exemplifying responsible and dignified behavior in resolving issues in accordance with international law. We shall continue to assert our rights in accordance with the Philippine Constitution and international law. The recent incidents involving no less than our AFP Chief of Staff is worrisome. Yes, but it is a proud demonstration of Filipino courage against coercion and our firm resolve to protect, preserve, and uphold our territorial integrity. I know that our soldiers and our troops espouse the same values and principles and they remain undeterred by actions that stir tension. As the arm of government tasked with upholding national security, the AFP must continue to improve its readiness to effectively prevent and to respond to properly the current and emerging threats. To this end, this administration remains committed to supporting initiatives that will bolster our armed forces' external defense capabilities. I likewise enjoin the AFP to enhance existing alliances and partnerships with your foreign counterparts. Let us continue to explore so that we may forge new partnerships based on common goals, common values, and at the same time, advancing the national interest. So moreover, I extend my utmost recognition to these year's awardees for your unparalleled dedication, your courage, and the exemplary performance of your respective duties. It is my hope that you and the rest of the military force will continue to uphold the AFP core values of honesty, service, patriotism in every endeavor. As recommended by the Department of National Defense and the Armed Forces of the Philippines, we are also going to adequately reward the existing Medal of Valor awardees, the increase of their lifetime monthly gratuity for displaying bravery and heroism in defending our freedom. This will provide them with a tangible, this will provide our heroes with a tangible and meaningful reward highlighting our commitment to support and to honor our war heroes. I look forward to more decades of the AFP's excellent and selfless service to the nation, especially now that we are transforming our country into Bagong Pilipinas that is rightfully due to our people. Once again, I give my snappiest salute to all the members of the AFP. I wish everyone a jubilant and meaningful 88th anniversary. Mabuhay ang sandatahang lakas ng Pilipinas. Mabuhay ang lahing Pilipino. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat at maligayang Pasko at manigong bagong taon.
Thank you very much, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Please be seated. A memento will be presented to the guest of honor and speaker, the President of the Republic of the Philippines. It will be presented by the Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines. The memento is the Commander-in-Chief Sabre, a symbolic sword of honor replete with meaning it represents the highest power and fortitude of the Commander-in-Chief and is caliber to lead the armed forces of the Philippines to protect the people and the state and be relevant enablers of national development. Thank you very much to His Excellency. At this point, we shall now proceed with the pass interview. Kalang balikat. Ko. Kalang balikat. Ha. Talu talu pod. Unang talu pod. Pasulu. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now ponder on this year's anniversary theme, AFP at 88, rising over the challenges in service to the nation. Truly, the armed forces of the Philippines could always be counted on by the nation and its people. It has demonstrated its solemn vow and devotion to duty as protector of the people and the state, contributing its share in unity with the nation towards a peaceful, steadfast, resilient, and progressive Philippines. Let us now witness the parade of the various contingents of the armed forces of the Philippines. Ang mga makabagong katipunero, makadiyos, makakalikasan, makatao, at makabansa. Leading the parade contingent is Rear Admiral Mac Raul B. Racacho, Philippine Navy, with his staff, Colonels Vladimir B. Caluya, Derek Ablog, Jeric Doliente, Vincent Mauricio, Felimon Dumuran, and Captain Jonathan Salvilla. Following is the AFP Composite Band under the baton of Major Peterson de Vera. Hello, Talupan. Hello, Talupan. Pasulo. Pasulong. 
The first brigade is headed by Brigadier General Fernando G. Ventura with his staff, Lieutenant Colonels Jefferson Guerra, Dindo Perez, Jocelyn Tioaken, Commanders Jordan Ruazol and Raymond Retaga. Following is a contingent from the Philippine Army represented by the Security and Escort Battalion under Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Mamuya. His staff, Lieutenant Colonel Wilbert Basquinas, Majors Fabian Rane Jr., Ron Michael Soriao, and Joel Calusing. The Army has been a beacon of hope and progress. It has contributed to strengthening Filipino institutions, communities, and individuals by advocating for personal governance and by rebuilding itself into an organization loved by the people. Next, we have the contingents from the Philippine Navy, headed by Commander Ronaldo Soriano. With his staff, Lieutenant Commanders Ronnie Acevedo, Jero Edgar Ilustre, Herbert Palacio, and Noel Braga. The Philippine Navy is the protectors of the Philippine Seas and the first line of defense to uphold the territorial integrity. Following next, we have the Philippine Air Force led by Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Carlo Porras. His staff, Majors Ramon Christopher Engay, Manilin Colliado, Arvin Macalintal, and Elpidio Salinas. The Philippine Air Force is tagged as the Angel of Mercy and the Guardian of the Philippine Skies. Primarily tasked to secure our country's airspace as a forward defense shield. Parading next are the contingents from the prestigious Philippine Military Academy, the Cadet Corps of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, led by Cadet First Class Emmanuel Kibal with his staff, Cadet First Class Lance Loreyeg, Robert Dave Incal, Andre Josh Romero, Roy Angelo Valmonte, and Red Christian Rico Franca. Ladies and gentlemen, these young male and female cadets are the future leaders of the armed forces of the Philippines from the different regions of the archipelago. They are trained and guided by the tradition of excellence, espousing the values of courage, integrity, and loyalty. The audience is requested to rise for the passing of the national colors. Thank you. Please be seated. Following is the AFP Mast Colors, consist of the Major Service Commands, Unified Commands, and the AFP Wide Service Support Units. The Second Brigade is under the command of Brigadier General Gulliver L. Senyeres with his staff, Lieutenant Colonels Emmanuel Adriano, Claudio Bultake Jr., Carmelito Aquino Jr., John Paul Hakla and Commander Ray Habonete. First Battalion comprised of the cadets from the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy, led by Neil Archie Hamchawan. His staff, James Peter Dimaiwat, John Rolf Alam, Dave John Hamosa, Mark Benjoliban, and Jude Ryan Garcia. PMMA, the pioneer institution in Philippine maritime education. Following next, are the Special Operations Forces of the Philippine Army led by Lieutenant Colonel Anthony Macatual with his staff Majors Rex Larita, Artemio Sombrio Jr., and Captains Christian Pescasha and Bongino Estrada. This units, the 1st Scout Ranger Regiment and the Special Forces Regiment Airborne, specialized in unconventional warfare. This time we have the Special Operations Forces of the Philippine Navy headed by Commander Samson Servano, his staff, Major Romel Robles, Lieutenant Commanders Juan Tarosa and Marlon Andalio, and Major J. Jubilan. The contingent is comprised of the Naval Special Operations Command, Force Reconnaissance Group, and the Marine Battalion Landing Team, capable of conducting maritime special operations, counterterrorism, and other special operations. Next is the 7th 10th Special Operations Wing of the Philippine Air Force, led by Lieutenant Colonel Joseph A. Domingo. It is staff Major Mark Anthony Cuevas, Captains Edzar Belier, Gilbert Maramag, and Frederick Malakat Jr. The 7th and conducts special operations for defense of the Air Force bases and installations 
and perform other contingency operations. We now have the motorized contingent which showcases the assets being used in the internal security operations, territorial defense operations, and the anti-terrorism. Before us as the ASCOD 2 Sabra Light Tanks, a testament to international collaboration and unwavering resolve. This is not merely a machine. It's a symbol of strength, mobility, and unwavering firepower ready to defend our nation's values on any battlefield. ASCOD 2 Sabra Light Tank boasts a versatile seven-wheeled chassis that conquers any terrains. Its rugged armor meeting the stringent NATO Stanag 4569 Level 4 Ballistic Protection Standards shields its crew from even the most potent threats. Yet, ASCOD 2 Sabra Tank is more than just a brute force. With its command post vehicle, ASCOD 2 Sabra Light Tank's state-of-the-art surveillance and communication system provide unparalleled situational awareness. And now turning our attention to a different facet of our armored might, let's welcome the armored mortar carrier with its 120 millimeter mounted mortar system, a mobile artillery bastion. The armored mortar carrier with its 120 millimeter mounted mortar system offers a potent combination of mobility, protection, and precision artillery power. The latest in the inventory of the Army's artillery assets is the Soltam Atmos 155mm self-propelled howitzer which will boast indirect fire support capabilities. Next, we have the Marine V300 Fight Support Vehicle of the Marine Reconnaissance Battalion's Light Armored Vehicle with Cockrell 90mm gun. The Spider Philippines Air Defense System is the Philippine Air Force's air and defense system which will protect vital installations and key assets of the country. This is the central control unit of the air and missile defense. It is part of the Air Force Integrated Air Defense alongside the Philippine Air Force Air and Defense System and fighter aircraft for a layered air defense operations. Following is a rigid hull inflatable boat with two machine guns being used by the Naval Special Operations Command. This watercraft is highly utilized as platform to insert, extract, and provide fire support to operating SEAL teams of the Philippine Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just seen a segment of your armed forces of the Philippines pass before you. These soldiers represent every airman, sailor, the marine, and the foot soldier out there in the field, defending our country from all those who wish to destroy the peace, take away our freedom, and stunt our country's development. Once again, a big hand for the Armed Forces of the Philippines.
At this point, the Troop Commander, Rear Admiral Raul Mac B. Racacho, Philippine Navy, will report for the termination of this afternoon's ceremony. Mga kababayan, dito po nagtatapos ang ating pagdiriwang ng ikawalongput-walong taong anibersaryo ng sandatahang lakas ng Pilipinas. We would like to thank once again our President, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. for gracing the anniversary celebration. And of course, we would also like to thank you all, both those who are attending on-site and online, for joining us on the celebration of our 88th founding anniversary of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Samantala, mangyaring manatili po sa inyong mga kinalalagyan hanggang makalabas po ng bulwagang ito ang Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas.